I have your access to YouTube TV versus Direct TV versus Sling TV versus PlayStation View versus Hulu versus Amazon Prime as I help you make the right decision and cut the cord. The average cable or satellite bill for a lot of people watching right now is more than $110 per month. That has to stop. Hi, I'm the YouTube deal guy, Matt Granite. I find the biggest deals on YouTube. I have the biggest giveaways. And I also make it my mission to save you more cash than anyone else. And cutting the cord is definitely something that I did 11 years ago. I haven't looked back. I'm going to take you through all of the particulars of these various platforms that help you stream and get you live TV and help you cut the cord and escape those highway robbery charges. My big question for you, all the great people watching, and again, I learned so much from you guys as well. I think this is a really good two-way relationship. Have you cut the cord? And if you haven't cut the cord, what are you paying in cable or satellite fees per month? I would love to know. Just leave your comment right under this video screen. Before I compare YouTube TV to other platforms, I wanna show you the interface. Look at this, absolutely spectacular. If you are someone that wants to enjoy live TV with on-demand services and a way to store unlimited programming in the cloud with a DVR option, YouTube TV is pretty awesome in terms of its debut, and I am gonna tell you its limitations in a moment. You get access to about 50 channels for $35 a month, and this is one of the first major players to get you ABC, CBS, Fox, and NBC Live. That is rare, plus you get the sports. So yes, it's a great lineup, but there are certain channels missing at the time that this was recorded. CNN, Cartoon Network, TBS, which I believe are Time Warner, products, these networks, which would be on Sling TV, are not on YouTube TV right now, and some of the Viacom networks like MTV and Nickelodeon are also missing, which will be a, a bummer to a lot of you. There are other networks joining soon, which means this is something in development, and there will be progress made, which includes, I believe, Sundance, IFC, AMC, that's all coming. Of all of the streaming platforms I've tested, the playback is unbelievable. I mean, you're looking at live right now. I'm using for this particular test a 15 megabit per second internet connection, which is below average for a lot of people watching. And you can see with the connection strength, this is seamless. YouTube TV is also missing Scripps channels, which means HGTV, food, some of those channels that many of you like that you can still access on the other platforms I'm gonna show you. Could be a make it or break it deal, but at $35, this has that local network access that I mentioned that other services don't have. The unlimited cloud DVR, where you can just tap a button to record a program when it airs. As I'm showing you right now, you can actually go back on a program and watch live. This is fantastic. Another big bonus is when you store items to the cloud, it's recorded commercial free. The one other limitation is unless you wanna watch on your computer or on a smartphone, which is seamless, you may want to invest in a Chromecast because that is the only way to enjoy this right now on your television at the time that this is recorded, although I do expect that to change. If you prepay a month, Google will be sending out free Chromecasts. If you have a Chromecast enabled TV, this is ready to rock. And YouTube Red content is also offered as a bonus freebie, which I love. In addition to that cloud DVR, which I think is just absolutely awesome and a pleasure to use, the six user accounts that you can use with YouTube TV is a massive perk. So that means if you have a large family or various people that you wanna legally share the account with, you can do that. You get three simultaneous streams. So three people can be watching live programming at the exact same time, which I love. The nearest competitor now to this particular product, I'd say is Sling TV. I was a beta tester for Sling TV. And just like when it rolled out similar to YouTube, there was a waiting list. It wasn't open to everyone. That has since changed. And they have several channel tiers. At $20 from Sling, you get fewer channels than the 50 offered by YouTube TV. But for some of you, these will be better channels. You get HDTV, which I mentioned, the Scripps Network not present on YouTube TV. You also get food. You also get CNN and some of the other networks. Yes, Sling TV is also live. And similarly, it has no contracts, no extra fees, and you can cancel at any time. The $40 package, a little bit more generous. Sling TV gives you different streams based on how much you pay per month. You can use Sling TV on all sorts of set-top boxes. Same with DirecTV, that's AT&T's streaming service. DirecTV now at their package pricing, which is hovering around that $35 mark and then increasing two streams is what you get. I really like the AT&T service, but 
it stutters. It is the most unreliable of all the apps despite some improvements. And PlayStation View offers the most promotions. So you'll constantly see prices changing or being lowered a little bit, which makes this feel even more like your cable provider. The prices also similar to your cable provider. You get an incredible number of channels available, but with prices that start at as low as $40 and then go all the way up to $75, you are looking at prices that are finally a little bit more reminiscent of what you would pay with Spectrum, Comcast, or another company that you subscribe to. Granted, you're not locked into a contract. Between YouTube TV, DirecTV Now, PlayStation View, and Sling TV, I definitely think YouTube TV has the best interface, the best live interface, that unlimited cloud storage, and the multiple streams promised in that $35 price, phenomenal. If I had to pick my next favorite provider, Sling. They were really there from the start. I like their channel packages, their pricing is good, and their interface, absolutely phenomenal. DirecTV now is good, but for that price, which is not that far off from what you would get with YouTube TV, PlayStation View, definitely in the next spot. The only other two options I wanna mention right now, because I don't think Netflix needs any type of analysis, Hulu at $11.99 as a commercial free option to deliver really almost all of your favorite content the next day. So yes, if you want to watch Saturday Night Live Sunday afternoon, this is for you. It is not live, although that will change later down the line and have a higher price attached to it. You get mostly every program that you can think of that would air on traditional television the next day on demand and commercial free. Keep in mind YouTube TV does have, for now, the commercial free cloud storage. So for those of you that want to dodge commercials, this is a good option if you don't care for the live component and of course, no sports no local news programming. And the only other thing, if I had to throw it in, which is a good add-on, Prime. A lot of you watching right now are already Prime members. Some of you know that I am now an official deal hunter for Amazon as well. By the way, if you want today's deals, amazon.com shop. The deal guy will take you to my page of all of the big deals that I've hunted down. And I do also want to mention that the add-on channels through Amazon that range anywhere from $8.99 and $9.99 per month that you can add to your Prime subscription allow you to watch networks on demand. The only issue with Prime is that once you add two or three or four or some of these channels, you're already at $35 per month, which might make YouTube TV or Sling TV your better option. I know some of you are aggravated because I'm telling you how great YouTube TV is and you can't even access the darn platform in your area. That's going to change. And it was my hope today that showing you what the platform looks like, how the infrastructure responds, at least educates you in advance so the second it is available, if it's not while you're watching this, you can log on, you can enjoy, and know how it compares to the big competitors. Now obviously, without making this a 25 minute video because I know your time is very valuable, there are different components and features for each of the platforms that I haven't touched upon in as much detail as I'd like, but don't worry. I have a cord cutters guide. In fact, if you don't wanna pay anything, I have some great resources for free legal television. Yeah, I have a full playlist where you can take advantage of all of my recommendations for free TV. And for those of you that wanna see a more in-depth demonstration, of Sling TV or Direct TV Now, I have that as well. Also, if you've never seen me before and you're watching right now, I mentioned I have the biggest giveaways. Usually, typically when I feature a deal and I do all sorts of crazy tech gadgets and lifestyle items and even things from Shark Tank, if you are subscribed to this channel with your notifications turned on, I give thousands of dollars and items away for free per month. That's what I do and I would love to see you back here. To subscribe to this channel, you can just click right here on my head. It's always awkward when I hold it, but you get the point. If you need help turning on your notifications or leaving a comment for my next giveaway, which is in my next upload, just click here. And if you wanna see what one of my big deals looked like that you may have missed, just click right over here.